Inhale, go up and down and all around the sides to get rid of all that crusty molesty. Says I love your hair. Oh, thank you. Everybody really loves the super toned hair. I think for me it's a little bit too purple. But when it washes out, it'll be blonde. Yeah, blonde. I do actually have to order more uh, sh purple shampoo and uh, the toning foam if you want to get some. You're welcome, my love. Hi, Sue. Thanks for joining us today. And make sure we get everything nice and clean. Because the more nail estate that we have, the better. And also, you guys, don't forget that all of our Happy Gels are on sale 25% off. And that also includes the Happy Gel Kit. Use promo code HAPPY25 to save 25% off your Happy Gels. And that sale ends June 30th. Which When is June 30th? Tomorrow? Um, Scarlett says, I love all your pro tips you share. Really help the DIYer like me. Oh, my pleasure. Just make sure you use EnoCouture.com products. Tina says hi. Hi, Tina. It's Miss Andrea today. You never told us a story about your hair. You gotta spill the gossip for the girls. For the fans. Oh, how she was supposed to do my hair before the baby shower, and I went to go buy the packs of hair, and then she canceled on me that day. She was gonna put it in bundles? Tape so that you were gonna get some weave. Yeah. How sad. And, she and then she tried saying that. Last minute. Last minute. And then she tried saying that she was gonna get me in later in the afternoon, which was a big fat lie. And she never did. I was texting her like, please let me know. This is really important. You know, I mean, my daughter's baby shower is coming up, and that was. And she knew how important that was. If it was any other day, I wouldn't have cared because I know that's classic Candace. Mm -hmm. But. Oh, so no, with the ground blast. Calling, yeah, I just kept calling everywhere, and then finally this girl got me in at the Sea Beauty Bar. Uh-huh. She, she hooked, hooked it up. She hooked it up. And last minute, too. Uh-huh. Thank God for her. Did you take the bundles out already? No. Oh, they're still in your hair? Oh, I can see it now. I love them. And I got bohemian hair. Uh-huh. Love. Really? Love, love. I use that Balami hair, or however you say it. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Hate it. Have you ever tried Russian hair? No. <gasps> That is a godsend. Hi, Sue. Look at that, you guys. So clean. Doesn't this feel so clean, too? Uh -huh. So, are you going to keep going to her or are you going to look oh, for yeah. somebody else now? No, I'm going to keep going to her. To Candace? No, 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 no. To that new girl. Oh. Uh huh. Is there a parking though? That's oh, the problem yeah. with downtown. No, it's just not all. It's a big parking lot. Yeah. Oh wow. I actually did something really cool too. I remember the pedicure chairs I had when I had my salon, and I went before I closed it. I just like spent a whole bunch of money on mm -hmm. pedicure the chairs. Ones? Yeah, I'm actually gonna donate them. Oh, I'm gonna donate them to a local nail school here in Tucson called MJ's Nail Academy. I just got confirmed today with uh, Miranda, who's the owner. So I am excited. She is the first black-owned nail school here in Southern Arizona, and uh, she's my mom used to do her nails. She was my mom's client. Oh, really? That, that's uh, how I know her. And then she opened up her uh, nail school, I think, last year or this year. I don't remember exactly, but uh, I got in contact with her because I had these pedicure chairs sitting back there for such a long time, and they're pretty much new. Yeah. So we're donating it to her school. So that's really dope. Yeah. And it's a tax deduction. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was funny too because she was like, well, I'm not sure if I can have them or not. She was like, but I have a friend that opened up a nail salon and uh, uh, you could probably give them to her. And I was like, no, I want to give them to an institution, not to a, a nail salon. Because the school I went to, they never called us back to see if uh, they wanted them or not. And I was like, typical Carrie. Big shout out to Arizona Academy of Beauty. And I think we emailed her twice too. Or they called twice, yeah. Because I remember Ignacio, I asked her, I was like, can you call again and see what's going on? And she was never there. And you have to have so much patience to like teach every day. It's 
let's go in with our dining room bit. I could not teach every day. Well, I do teach every day, but like in person, it's so draining. No, they're beige. And the base is glass. They're beautiful. I actually was like, geez, maybe I should open up a nail salon so I can use them. Because they're so beautiful and really, really high quality. I can't remember what brand they are, but uh, really, really nice. Top of the line. For the time when I bought them, which was, it's been a few years, but they're pretty much in like perfect condition, so. I actually thought about like uh, selling furniture, but that's a pain in the butt. And plus, I don't have the space for it. Yeah, like nail furniture. Oh. Like custom pink nail furniture. Wouldn't that be cute? But you need a lot of space for furniture. You need a lot of space for it. Yeah, and shipping it is expensive. Because it's heavy. So I'm just really gently removing any dry non-living tissue. Hi, sweetie. Don't forget, you guys, too, if we reach 150 views, we're going to do a giveaway at the end of the video. Also, can we see? Is the lighting good? Or is it kind of dark and shadowy? A Move the camera closer towards me. No, it looks good now. Yeah. Okay. This says, oh, I think I know what the chairs are. I was going to show you this a long years ago when I wanted to get new chairs. And the bottom was glass, and it was really nice. So my boss said, no, it's Some pedicure chairs are really expensive, like thousands upon thousands. I think the ones that, that um, I'm donating were like, I think uh, $3,300 at the time of purchase. And you know, I've been so lucky. I think it's, an, it's nice to be able to donate it too because the Lord has been so blessed, uh, has been so kind to me and blessed me so much that I'm glad I'm able to share, a, even if it's a small blessing to the to the children that are going to nail school. It's so hot too. Are you guys getting notifications that we're going live too? Let us know in the comments below. Because some people are, are telling me that they're not getting notifications. So I'm like, what's going on? Yeah? Does this music make you feel like you're out partying in Germany when you were younger? Yeah. Do they have really good nightlife over there? Yeah. Hi. Hi from Northern Cali. Thanks for watching today, Mama. Awesome. I wish I knew where the pedicure stools were so that way we can include them in the in the uh, donation. Hi, Mary. We have to change the tempo of the music so that way the video won't get taken down. So this is, yeah, this is club music and we play it at a higher speed too. We play it at 1.25 times faster than what it is. So this is like the remix of the remix. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Those are little tips. So are you excited to like take the baby to like Disneyland and all that kind of stuff? When are you going to Cancun? Really? You're like, you told your daughter, you're like, this baby's not yours, it's mine. Yeah. Have you always been like a big baby person? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Perfect. 
cuticle one more time. Are both of your parents real big, uh, big baby people? No. He's like me. He's like, oh, baby. Yes. Because Andrea is a very busy woman. Hi from Brisbane. From what? Sunny Brisbane, Australia. Congratulations on hosting the 2032 Olympics out in Bris Vegas. Yeah, I was uh, reading about it too because I like to know random useless facts, as you guys already know. And the, like the 2032 Olympics, nobody bid for them. The only city that wanted to host them was Bris Vegas. So by default, they get it, which is actually kind of cool because I've been to Brisbane. Oh, no. What about FedEx or UPS? Yeah. have another client too her name was Sonia and she was obsessed with babies she had a whole bunch of kids too like I want to say like half a dozen maybe and I remember um that really that show my strange addiction had just come out and I was telling her about like the ladies that would have like the real dolls that look like real babies she was like I want one because I just love babies and I was like okay Next economy it is. Oh no. Jackie says it's a long close today. Oh my god. Yeah, they were telling me that there was a lockdown in Australia again. Uh COVID. The Rona. Really? The Rona's out for the ruse. Is it coming back? I heard that it was supposed to be coming back again. Well I guess they don't have that many vaccines down there too. But there's always going to be another wave, another fifth wave, sixth wave. Yeah. Little coat of primer. Why? I thought it was the best name when I Why? I don't like being at home. I love working. Oh, this shape is so beautiful. Remember you guys, we're going to leave a tiny little bit of space at the cuticle area so that way we can blend it so it looks more natural. For the fantasy. Sue says the variant is really strong in coming through. Which variant? What, what is it, the Delta one now or something? But I don't think people would um, here uh, want to participate in a lockdown. Because everybody wants to go out. We're going to do a little layer of pink press-on gel over the entire phalange. Delta variant. What is that? Another type of Overland. strain, yeah. So we're going to do a little layer of pink press-on gel on her nail. And this is going to be the cushion. This is going to be the base for the one, two, three, go. It's gonna give perfect adhesion and it's going to also protect her natural nail from any kind of damage as well, too. Yeah, like, really? No, like I heard in Australia, like the lockdowns, they close the stores as well, too. You can't go anywhere. I probably had COVID and I never even knew. Oh, did you? I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I had it. Really? Wait. 
but I mean, I've had a cool, like, uh, just a normal cold, but usually they don't last too, too long on me. Really? Look how beautiful her nails look. Turn it upside down, my dear, just for a few seconds like that. And what that's going to do is it's going to, like, level out the gel and just make a really, really perfect surface of the nail. Okay, you put it in now. We're going to cure that for one minute. We're going to get our DIY gel ready. From the low heat. Flashy ready too. Some countries didn't even lock down. I think like yeah. Sweden didn't do that. Oh yeah, when people were going crazy for the toilet paper, I was one of those. Really? I stopped. Uh, I still have toilet paper. We have not bought toilet paper in over a year. Really? Oh, yeah. How much did you buy? Oh, Water packs and everything. Three, everything. And then when that happened, I had just bought three, and then I went back and I bought two more. Mm -hmm. And then I just kept going every day, and then people were like going crazy, so I would just get one. Because they limited us to the one. Mm -hmm. So I would buy one, and then Alexis buy one. So we have like a crazy amount of paper. We still oh do. Like a room full of toilet paper? Oh, You were ready for like the apocalypse. Yeah. You can take it out now. <laughs> we're gonna squeeze out a little bit of clear DIY gel into the nail. You were ready for everything. You're like, I'm ready for war, I am ready for. Do you have like a backup energy uh, generator yeah. too? <laughs> and remember you guys leave a tiny little bit of space right there and then freeze what oh that so stunning like a bunker all kinds of canned stuff A porta party! We had toilet paper if we had to go outside, that's for sure. <laughs> Make sure they're nice and straight too, because the thing I hate the most is a wonky nail. I'm excited for you to get round nails too. This is so like not like yeah. you. It's official. Yeah, official not oh, so you were telling me about the movie you went to go see? I have gone to go see A Quiet Place too, And I went to go... It's about the... Um, the main character is the mute girl. And like the, if you make a sound, the aliens will come and kill you. Yeah. Yeah. This is the sequel. And then the other one I went to go... Well, I watched it on Amazon Prime. I was going to go see it at the movie theater, but it wasn't there anymore. And, it's like twenty dollars is so expensive, but I caved in because I had wanted to see it for a long time. Is the new Saw one with um, with Chris Rock? Oh, thank you. I took him to go eat at P.F. Chang. Everything at P.F. Chang is pretty good. We eat there so much. I have fifteen dollars off for the next vanilla. Really? Uh huh. I don't. I didn't even though they had that. Ya te vas, Ceci. ¿Vas a hacer qué? <risa> Ni un pedido va a haber. <risa> ¿En Australia? I know Canada is also pretty locked down too. Have you had the honey to shrimp there at PF Chang? So good. Out of this With world. brown rice. Yes. Out of this world. Pretty good. Have you had the banana spring rolls? No. Out of this world. <laughs> the banana spring rolls are just on another level. Really? Yeah.
Mm -hmm. The steakhouse. Isn't Sullivan's like really expensive though? Oh wow. And they're in lockdown or they're not in lockdown? That's horrible. Hopefully you guys open up soon and everything is starting to feel more back to normal. When I went to California, it was starting to get more back to normal too. And I think now it's more. You should have seen the day I went. Because I went the day they opened up the Avengers campus. The line to get into the, it's tiny. It's only like four acres, which is like basically like one ride and two restaurants. Oh, really? Yeah, it's tiny. Five hours. And they had the other ride there, the the Guardians of the Galaxy Tower, or whatever it is. And I couldn't ride it because you have to enter that uh, that land to go into that ride. And I went on the Incredicoaster, but I only did that once because that thing is rough. I was like, geez, I'm going to need a chiropractor after this ride. Ugh, look at that shape, you guys. So flawless. So now we're going to bake it for one minute inside the Dazzling Garden. Can you believe we're done already? That was so fast. California Adventure is kind of boring because it's so small. That was the first time I went. Hopefully not. I'm gonna go to Disneyland and take good pictures. Really soon. Um, either by the end of this month or early July. But right now we do have all of our Happy Gels on sale 25% off using promo code HAPPY25 and that also includes the Happy Gel kits. And the glitter happy gels as well too, like Wink and all those. So if you want to get you some Poly products, P-O-L-I, now is the time to snatch them up. Oh, and then I was watching because I like the YouTube drama channels every once in a while about Jeffree Star that he's moving to Wyoming. Yeah, full time, like he's going to live in Wyoming. I have videos on how to remove the one, two, three, go nails. But pretty much all you have to do is just file the, the uh, seal on top and then soak them off. Or just file them off with a, a drill. And that's what we did today, for example, on Andrea. We used our Goldilocks drill bit and we just filed it off. And then I went in with one of our ceramic bits just to uh, soften up any product. And I actually have a little bit of product on the nail. Isn't it so dope? It really has the same strength and um, properties as acrylic, but in a complete odor-free uh, setting. The other thing I was thinking about making, and I wanted to ask you guys too, is what do you guys think about um, slip solution? The solution for your brush instead of using alcohol or monomer? What do you guys think if we made one that smelled like candy? Let me know in the comments below. Would you guys be interested in something like that? Or would you guys also be interested in smaller tubes of Acrogels? Like a 15 ml tube? Or what do you guys think about a Happy Gel in a jar? Or a little, uh, what do you call it? Focus group. I thought we were gonna do something like this on your own ground. Mm -hmm. okay, They're very stripper Barbie, aren't they? Yeah. I'm going to use the mixer bit to blend in the line of demarcation. And we're gonna blend in that cuticle. Some slip solution for the girls, for the fantasy. So right now we're just really gently blending out the line right here so that way when we put our base on, it is just flawless right here. And it looks just like a sculpted nail.
Ooh, there's some more German music for you, Andrea. That's right. Fast, easy, beautiful. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Have you been buying more stock, Andrea? No. No? Really? You sold all the stock you had? All of it? Really? Uh, yes. How are you doing? Uh, actually really well. Really? In my, uh, portfolio manager is like, wow, you got the magic touch when it comes to picking stocks. Oh, wow. But I have to, what, I have two accounts and one I have to diversify and I'm like, I don't want to have to buy boring stock. Yeah. Like I have to buy like Kroger, not Kroger, uh, Kellogg's and like stuff like that is what they want me to buy. And as patriotic as I am, actually, a lot of my stock is like European. Oh, oh yeah, you Like Estee Lauder, which owns like half of the makeup brands, is French. Oh. Which one? Oh, Foundation? Yeah, I've heard really good things about that. I heard it has a lot of coverage, is that true? No. No? You have to put on more than one coat if you want that. Oh. For the summer, you use it, or? Um, yeah, kind of. I don't use it every day. I still like my tart. Oh, really? Oh, when I was in Dallas, I went to uh, we went to Sephora, and I got some uh, Too Faced eyeshadows. <gasps> Their palettes are so cute, and they smell so good. I got the teddy bear one, and it smells like cinnamon. And it says, I don't think it's Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Mama. Did you share the video? Because you guys know if we reach 150 views, we're going to do a giveaway. But I don't know, the algorithm's been funny lately. Probably because I was um, out of town like for three days. Like three days I don't go live. It just screws everything up again. The colors on the Wonder Gel bottle. What do you mean, sweetie? Like this one? that brand. Tatcha. Yeah, they say it's Japanese, but I've been to Japan a lot of times and I've never seen it there actually. How does the shape feel? Strange. For face cream, I actually, my personal favorite is um, SK2. And I actually just ran out recently and I need to order more. Because right now it's too hot to wear like something heavy like La Mer. I think it's because our weather is also so dramatic. Like in the winter, it's really cold and dry. And in the summer, it's really hot and dry. They said it was gonna rain. Really? A lot or a little bit? Really? Ugh, like monsoon weather? Like monsoon weather? Ugh, is it here already then basically?
Beautiful, look at that blend, you guys. So stunning. So now we're just going to take our 180 file, touch up the sides again, and then buff this top surface to new. I wonder what Alaska's like in the summer. I wouldn't mind living there. They have no state income tax. There's no state income tax. Um, it's cold. It's not sunny. I just heard it's really expensive, actually. Because everything has to be flown in. But if you live in Alaska, you get paid to live there. Yeah. I think like the oil companies or something like that. And it's a great place for women too. Because for every woman, there's like eight men, I think. <laughs> We're gonna take our smoothie buffer and just remove the shine. Me too. I don't think it's that that far. Maybe like six hours? Eight hours? And they have cruises to Alaska too that I heard are a lot of fun. That's what I want to do too, the cruise. To Alaska? Um, we're, we're... Have you ever been on a cruise before? Oh, yeah. oh that's right. You went, uh, yeah. It's amazing. Did you like it? I loved it. You didn't feel dizzy or the boat move when you were there? No. Really? I thought I was going to be dramatic like that. Did you like the food on the boat? Everything. Really? Everything. I thought it was so boring being on a boat. Really? I didn't care for it, yeah. I think it just depends who you go with. Well, there was a lot of us. We went on a really fun group. We went for a nail, um, a nail gig and there was a lot of us, yeah. Like, the people were pretty cool for the most part. But uh, just being on the boat was like, ugh. Really? Like, artists like casino and they had comedy hour all the time. There's like shows and yeah. plays and things like that, yeah. The food was horrible though. Really? Yeah. I was like, oh, I can feel this boat move. Like I was sitting down and I was like, oh, I can feel it moving. Uh, I think it was Carnival? No, it was huge. Yeah. It reminded me of like an old Las Vegas casino is what it felt like. And then to like board and onboard, it takes forever too. Really? Not ours. Really? Super fast. Because they had us all in sections. Mm-hmm. So, and you have to wait. You don't have to wait? No? We did. Like when we were, um, arrived at in uh, Florida to onboard, we had to wait. Oh yeah, to get off the boat. Mm -hmm. We had to wait for it. Yeah, that, yeah. But it wasn't bad. And we were like, we don't want to get off. Really? <laughs> And the rooms were tiny. Yeah, but you're never, we were never in our room. Really? Yeah. The rooms were tiny, and I remember. Um, you can get big rooms. Though. Yeah, but they're more expensive. <laughs> um, I remember the rooms being like really small and like no windows and like super dark. We had a window. Really? Yeah. Ours didn't have a window. Well, the room I was in, and uh, the shower was like tiny, like a oh, little yeah, tube. The shower was tiny. Yeah. It was like yeah, a we cylinder. Had a we had our friends got a like a like a balcony. Like a uh huh. So this is A pink number three. The most famous A pink. Look at that color, you guys. It looks just like Eternal Beige. We still make it. Do you? Yeah. We make it in happy gel, we make it in acrylic, and in polish. This is probably the closest we'll get. But every time we do your nails. It's so Those color is just a bottom check. All the A pinks are incredible. And I feel like they're like uh, kind of like a, one of our underrated products because we have so much stuff. But A Pink is like um, a lot of people call it a rubber base coat. 
but it's a three in one so it has vitamin E and calcium in it actually and it is a nail strengthener it is a base coat it is a rubber base coat and it is also a color so the question is what does an a-pink do Isn't she? Fringe. This is number three. It's so stunning. Oh, that's so sweet. Wait till you see the four that are coming out later this year. I'm really excited, probably most for the Milky White A Pink. I'm gonna take a little liner brush. Let's use the Pink Vegan, the four pack. Gonna go around the cuticle. Is all the way to the back. Shanna says yes to milk the white on the milk nail. Yes. Well, the white is actually developed because it's really popular in Russia right now. And also, it's great for like sheer colors. It's great for neons because it really just intensifies everything because it has that white base. If you guys notice, a lot of times when people do demos of like designs or like they swatch colors, they don't do it on a clear nail. They always do it on a like either a natural nail or a white nail. Have you guys ever noticed that? And that is because the white really makes the color intensify. Turn the hand upside down just for a few seconds, and this is gonna let the gel self level out. Okay, see, so when the light hits the nail, the shape is like really pretty perfect actually. It creates a really seamless uh, surface structure. So let's bake that for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna do a super thin layer of shiny, and this is gonna be our slick layer so that way we can apply our stickers to the top. My big old cup of crystal light. With caffeine. I remember one time you were here and you're like, you really do like your crystal light because yeah. packs of it all over the place. So this layer of shiny gel is gonna be super super thin. Basically, so painting.
Even just like that, they look so pretty, huh? <laughs> Fifty Shades of Nails. Did you ever get into that? No. No? Let's bake that 30 seconds. I never saw it either, but I know some people look, swear by it. Fifty Shades of Grey. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like that kind of stuff. Huh? Oh, it's to clean the bit. It's a prototype. It looks like a little like uh, pink disco ball or something like that, huh? Mm -hmm. So we're going to use some of our new white lace stickers. And we're also going to use some of the new... This one is called Princess and Queen, I think, or Queen and Princess, something like that. But it's really pretty because it has crowns on it. So because she's having a little boy, we will not be using any of the princess stuff on there. But we're going to definitely use, snatch up some crowns and make it look very regal. The crown? Up to you. Isn't this pretty? Very bridal, actually. For your quinceañera. So we're just going to get some of our beautiful white lace. There's a few of these. There's like wedding lace. Very carefully peel it off and then figure out where we want it. I want it here so there's no dust. And then get a little scissor. Read you. Yeah. Aren't they everything? And it really does look hand painted, but in half the time, without any effort. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Oh, look how beautiful that is. Look how pretty that is on down. Yeah, really mm -hmm. So do you want the gold? Or I was thinking actually leaving this one just covered in diamonds, the whole thing. With the gold? Without the gold. I was going to do it all in silver diamonds. Or and Because if we put the gold, well, we, can, we have some small crowns too. But do you think it goes with it? Even if we do a bigger crown, let me see. One's too much, huh? Yeah. And the lockets are cute too. Okay. How about a crown? No, a cross doesn't go with it either. <laughs> a holy roller! Andrea, the holy roller. <laughs> She is, did Anthony just join us today? Mm -hmm. Did you get a notification? She was saying that she wasn't getting any. We can't do too, too much because she has a baby coming. Or this weekend. I don't want him to be born on the 4th of July. I want him to have his own. Because then if it's on the 4th of July, it would take away. America. Or Christmas, that would suck to have a birthday on Christmas. Can you imagine? And then you can't really have like birthday parties or anything like that. Halloween would be kind of cool to have a birthday on. But it's basically yours. Yeah. 
Aren't these stickers stunning, you guys? Stop what? The toast. Oh. I know sometimes the comments come up all wonky too. I don't know why. Oh, you guys leave a little bit of space at the edge of the sticker. Here on this one, I was gonna cover this one in diamonds. Mm -hmm. What? No. Oh. I was just gonna cover this one in diamonds. But do you want me to put diamonds on the other ones too? A couple. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Or I can put more, like a little bit of silver glitter in between too. So let's get a pretty silver glitter. Oh, I have it right here. I broke it. Um, I don't know off the top of my head. Did you check the website? Because they did update it. It's, if it doesn't ship by the end of next week, you're probably going to get it early next week. The shipping. Some of our unicorn stones, we're going to use the silver ones. And we're just going to cover this whole nail in that. Huh? That's the idea. But it's just one finger. having a panic attack now. Yeah. Breathe in, breathe out. These are tiny, these diamonds. What are you talking about, Willis? For me, they're tiny. So let's get a little bit of... Gummy gel. Let's get a little gel brush. Yes, they're sold out. The pre-sale is sold out, but once um, this once the stock is available and we're done with the pre-orders, we'll put more stock on the website. Does that make sense? Yeah. so many because it's a limited edition product so if it does well we'll probably bring it back for more but there are some left for more sales after we're done with the pre-order and then the distributors overseas um, got them too so like everybody that lives in Canada Australia and New Zealand can rest assured that they will also have stock in their um, respective countries Did you get some stickers with your uh, black French nails? 
Those are really pretty too. I was actually gonna launch them for Halloween, but I was like, you know what, let's do it for let's do it for the summer. Focus the larger diamonds towards the center of the nail. So that way it avoids. Huh? Mm. But look how pretty it looks, though. <laughs> Andrea's having a panic attack. They're not that big. I'm not having a baby, it's my daughter, it's my grandson that's coming. But it basically hurts. Yeah. It hurts his mind. You're like, you're just the, um, what do they call him? Uh, Farragut! Farragut, yeah. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that look. What a fantasy. This is a first time grandma nail. A grandma. A broken disco ball on Thomas Hill. Yes. Thank you, is this going to be Ray's first grandbaby too? Mm -hmm. Let's freeze her for a few seconds. I want to be called Nana. Nana? Nana? Can you imagine if his first word is Nana, not Mom? We're going to do a little layer of shiny. And this is what we're going to use to apply the glitter to the nail. Gonna baptize him too. Have you guys thought about that? No. No. Get him out first. <laughs> you gotta pl plan the baptism. Another, Another party. But you know you can't wait though. I know. Are you gonna have it here or um? It would be cool if you did it like in Jersey or in New York. Cause they have such pretty churches out there. Vegan liner brush. Just pick up a few here and there. This is frozen glitter too. She would always fall asleep when I would do her nails. But like she would snore and I was like, Sianta, uh. yo. Give me your other hand and she's like, what? <laughs> I 
Yes, that is super classic too. I actually don't live that far from it. No? Well, you live in Saguarita, so down the freeway. Can you walk to San Javier or no? <laughs> I walk to San Javier from my house. Yeah. No. But like if it was like... I get run over on the freeway. Yes, I was gonna say. <laughs> like right now I wouldn't go outside it. Oh, God. For a million bucks maybe. <laughs> and on the weekends they have popovers for sale. Those are good. The meat. The Indian tacos. Changs. Beautiful. Really? She's my neighbor. Oh, really? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, let's bake this for 30 seconds. This is actually very bridal. Are you gonna wear them along for the wedding? I think like this, probably. I'm gonna be gone. I'm gonna be gone. Are you gonna make them for How long are you gonna be there for? For the honeymoon. That's not too bad. And that'll be perfect just for you to like. Is that like all inclusive? Yeah, I heard there's like a lot of them out in the. Um, because a lot of people go there for honeymoons. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Dominican Republic, um, what's the other one? Jamaica has a lot of like all inclusive. So we're gonna take Wonder Gel, a nice dollop, and encapsulate the entire phalange. Barbados, what's the other one? come to me because the guy that cuts my hair or he used to because he moved is from there Aruba all day from that's why I do meal prep because it's already done What milligram do they have you on? They have 40 milligrams at 2 o'clock and then 37 minutes. 40 milligrams? 40 milligrams at 2 o'clock. What time do you go to sleep? Oh. I was gonna say. When was the last time you slept with that kind of uh. Because <laughs> of exhaustion, probably. Crap. But the nice thing is you don't like wear makeup or anything like that. Because everything is already pre-done. You're like, eyelashes are done, nails are done. Upside down. Mm -hmm. We're gonna let that jaw self level out.
When you turn the hand upside down, it really makes the nail super smooth. So right now we're adding a little bit more Wonder Gel to really encapsulate everything and make the surface structure of the nail really smooth. Turn it upside down. This is like a practice set for your wedding. Isn't she ready for the for the walk down the aisle? Beautiful. Okay, let's bake this for 30 seconds. And I'm going to add just a little bit more Wonder Gel around the bigger stones to make sure they don't tangle in her hair or anything. <laughs> that would not be fun. You're like, we've got to keep the bundles safe, please. FedEx? Oh, the Hartford? Has that guy called this thing? The one that Tina recommended. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of Wonder Gel around the sides because I don't want to like ruin the facets of the diamond. I'm just gonna take my liner brush and we're gonna pack the Wonder Gel in between. Okay, let's take it for one minute. Gross. Gee, is, does the diet make you peel off? Mm -hmm. Ugh, that's the worst. I feel like a racehorse. Yeah. Me too, that's the only thing I can think about. It's releasing my bladder. <laughs> why is it so easy to gain weight, but why is it so hard to lose weight? Why does God torture us like this? Like why can't we eat like nachos and lose weight? Oh my god, those are gonna be so much fun. Is it ready? What about the tortillas? Don't you have to? Oh, like you buy the strips already made? You don't crumble them up? Are you gonna make a Tex Mex style with uh, rice in it? Mm -hmm. Wow. Avocado? Like avocado slices or guacamole? Slices with fresh cheese on top? So that way it melts when the soup is hot. That is the Gavino recipe. Look at that fantasy. Well, I have not tried it. That pro Just gonna touch up the sides really quickly. That's a hard one because I really don't like to go eat Mexican food. When, I think it's kind of touristy the flavor of it. Now, now. Back in the day, Back it was better. In the day.
Yeah. Like Taco Bell might as well. You know which one my dad likes a lot too is um Kurichimaka. Oh yeah, that one's a good one. Mm -hmm. That was old. I remember mm -hmm. that when I was in high school. Kurichimaka's been there forever. Yeah, they're good. And it's very like homey kind of food. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nothing, no frills. Andrea's house. La Parrilla Suiza, do you like that one? I do like that. I do like old school. It's really good. A little bit of kind of candy. Like Kiruko oil Suiza. with the cheese melted. The chicken. Do you remember Las Casuelitas? That used to be really good too. Mm -hmm. They were drug dealers. Um, <laughs> really? Regos used to be another one too. And Regos was really good. Closed down. They got really hit bad by the. Really? And now they turned that Rigos into a Mexican slash Italian slash Chinese place. No. Yeah. Because we went to Guida Crossroads the other day and I looked and I was like, really? Mexican, Chinese, and Italian. Anything you want, pretty much. That is wild. What do the girls think? Are we living for it? Are we living for the fantasy? Just count around over it this way. Very pretty. Very pretty. Look at the one with the diamonds. Everybody's sleeping today. <laughs> it's Taco Tuesday. Wow, uh, they came out really pretty, Andrea. Mm -hmm. It's the hands, it's the model. <laughs> well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's live demo. I hope you guys enjoyed this very bridal welcoming the grandbaby fantasy don't forget to visit enocouture.com for the best narrow products in the world and i love you guys so so much stay safe stay out of trouble i know that's hard for some of us and i'll see you guys in the next one bye everybody